One of the people who will be part of those discussions is Karen Taylor. Karen's a member of the Social Democratic uh, pa Democrat Party. Uh, welcome to the day. So how do you feel then about the prospect of the SPD going into coalition talks with uh, Chancellor Merkel's um, CDU? Looking at the paper that came out today, I'm very disappointed. Um, if we see the results, um, if we see on what, what the SPD focused on before these talks and what are the results right now, I think the SPD had to step back on very um, core issues such as the health insurance um, question, for example. Also the question about um, a maximum amount of asylum seekers coming into the country. That's, that's a big thing because there's now, there's now a cap. Exactly, exactly. And that's exactly the point which we always focused on, that the right to asylum, I mean, it's still in this agreement that the right to is asylum needs to exist. But if we link it with a, with a maximum number, well, it's kind of contradictory in that case. Do you think you will vote against it? I mean, I'm not one of the party member who will be at this party convention to vote for or against it, but I'm part of an organization um, which is the Migration Committee in Berlin, and I know that the base, that the ground is against this against this treaty. So um, I'm I'm very hopeful that the people who are in the delegation will listen to the party, will listen to the people on the ground. What do you get, though, by trying to uh, scupper this deal? Because surely the things that you want to achieve, you are more likely to get them if you are a party in government rather than a, a, a party in opposition. Well, if I look at the points again, um, I must say there are a, a, a lot of points missing. Also, if we talk about Germany as a diverse country, um, this um, tr agreement only focuses on migration linked to asylum seekers. Um, but as me, for example, I'm a black German. Um, there's nothing about diversity. There's nothing about the population in Germany, which already exists. So I'm wondering um, how come that when we talk about migration and integration, we only focus on the new incoming people and not talk about migration measures or integration measures which need to be taken into place for the population well, in Germany. That's interesting. So, so you think Germany has a, has a problem as it stands with, with the, the diversity of, of its population that's already here? I wouldn't call it a problem. I would say... Well, you, you, you look for solutions to problems. Yeah, I would say, I would say that there is uh, inequality between the, I would just say, the white population and the rest of the population. If we look at um, different um, measures such as the healthcare system, if you look at the, at the labor market and look at where people of color and non-white people stand, there is definitely a gap mm. in also education, the educational system. So talking about discrimination, which a point which is missing in this agreement, um, I would say there is more to gain um, of another government than by this government. Is there anything good about this deal? There are definitely good points. Um, if we talk about um, a law to migration, this, this is mentioned within the treaty, a migration um, act. Uh, there's also um, the support of families, which is definitely a positive point. Um, and also if we talk about um, the, the, the right to part-time to part-time jobs in, when you are taking care of somebody in your family. So there are definitely positive points, but again, I must say there's a huge gap um, between what is very important for another part of the population which is not regarded at all. Mm. So, the, 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 the Germany's president, Frank-Walter Steinmeier, um, went to great pains to get the, your, the, the two parties to, to sit down, got directly involved in, in, in politics, which is unusual for a, a, a German president. So important did he believe it uh, to be, um, and in Germany's national interests. Uh, this is clearly not a position that you, that you agree with. You don't believe it's in Germany's national interest for this to happen. I mean, if it, it would be, it, it's definitely... Uh, definitely a, an important question to have a government, 
but I must say, but not by every means. Mm. And there's not only this solution to a government, but also a minority government, a minority government which would bring back the discussion to the Bundestag, because for right now, such a debate is missing. And it would bring back the debate about topics um, which are important to the whole population. So I guess that's another solution. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, Karen Taylor, thank you so much for joining DW. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you. So, um, what do Germans think about these negotiations then? Uh, and what are they expecting now? Well, DW has been out on the streets. I think it would be good to have a grand collision soon. The one we had in the last few years wasn't bad, and it's better than new elections. That's too expensive. I'm just glad that it's finally over, that they could reach an agreement. In general, I'm not so keen on the grand coalition. I wasn't very impressed with the last one. I think people who voted SPD have specific hopes that the SPD can't fulfill in a coalition with the CDU. It's a lot better than new elections. It's good that they are finally building a government. Germany still needs to be a stabilizing force in Europe, so if they manage to resolve their interior conflicts and um, find out ways to work together, that will be a good thing for everyone, especially in current situation in Europe.